All right guys, I want to show you what was, well hopefully it doesn't happen. This is, the goal here is to show you, hopefully it doesn't happen, but if it does, I got it on camera. Pretty much what's been happening for the last couple days is I'll be starting the fire, be perfectly fine, and then uh, there's negative pressure buildup in my firewood stove, meaning there's cold air, uh, the hot air is not going through the fucking chimney. It's coming out every crevice in my tiny house because there's some type of negative pressure going on. So, I've opened up this fucking window. We're gonna light the fire. We got the, we got everything. We got the fire starting now. We got that open. So there should not be no negative pressure right now. So, I haven't ran the fucking firewood stove for a couple days because of this. I had to just shut it down because there's smoke coming all the way fucking through every goddamn crevice. Boom, I just wanted to film it just in case it does this so that way I can get an opinion on it because I'm I'm hoping it's just negative pressure so far so good but it feels like as soon as I fucking as soon as I get some hot air flowing through here I feel like I'll be good but man this hasn't happened for three or four years ever since I've had the firewood stove I've never had this happen it's only happened when I opened up when I uh, turned on that fucking diesel generator so I'm, I'm wondering what the fuck's going on here. Maybe I can only have one thing on or another. Because uh, the air, maybe it's causing, creating negative pressure because I have the diesel heater on at the same time I'm trying to start this. Because I've never had to open up a window to start my house uh, firewood stove, ever. The only thing that's different now is that diesel generator. Now the air, the only thing that's inside is the a heater itself so i'm not i'm honestly not too sure what the fuck's going on to be honest with you so far so good though uh the smoke is obviously going up the chimney the diesel heater has been off for two hours as well so it's not been on either so it looks like it's rolling and the smoke i see the smoke it's going straight up the chimney so i just wanted to film i wanted to film this to see if and i i could not have this window open last night when and it must be it must be the diesel generator the way, because I put I put everything else outside other than the exhaust port, or not the exhaust port, the air intake, everything all is all outside. Just the heat is coming inside. Maybe that's creating some type of negative pressure because <clears throat> I'm heating the house with the diesel generator to keep the chill off. And then I go ahead and start the fucking fire. And it's warm in here, obviously. It's cold in here. Because I would not be able to have this. Like the last couple of days, I was not able to have this fucking thing open. Hell, it, even if I closed the damn thing, it'd start seeping out of the shit. Now, window's open. Diesel generator's been off. Everything's good to go. And I'm, that's hot now. So maybe, it, maybe, maybe I created some negative pressure in the house because of the diesel generator. Maybe I can't have both running at the same time or some shit. Or maybe I, I can't have that running first, run this. It, I would never have to have this and that at the same time. Let's just put it that way. It'd have to be like negative 50, negative 100 degrees outside to <clears throat> have, have to have both running. I just like to run that to keep the chill off and then turn this, start the fire, and then shut that off. But it seems like it's not too happy doing that. So... We'll see. There's uh, windows open. And now this is obviously nice and hot. So heat is going to rise. It's going to find its way up through the chimney and go out. So <clears throat> that's hot enough now. Maybe I just wasn't getting it hot enough. I've just never had this issue. I know I'm repeating myself, but this is the first fire I've had for a couple days because of the fucking issue. And I was a little concerned. I didn't know if my fucking chimney was fucking needing to be sweet or what. But I'm definitely creating some type of negative pressure here. I had the windows closed and the gener diesel generator open, so that's good to know. So just wanted to film it for you guys. And if shit, if shit starts smoking out, I'll, I'll give it a record. It's about 10 o'clock at night, so we're good. I think I'm good. Welcome everyone. Another wet and rainy day. It's obviously not snowing because, well, it's not cold enough. So I showed you guys uh, the stove last night. Little stove issue that ended up uh, working just fine. So, definitely was some negative pressure buildup. But hey, you live and learn.
We're gonna make some uh, pancakes today. These things are nifty. A little fast shake buttermilk pancake. That sounded good when I woke up. I was like, fuck. All you gotta do is uh, mix it with some fucking water. So let's do that. Buttermilk pancake, buttermilk pancake. Give it a little shake. Yummy. Oh yeah, gotta send off this uh, thing real quick. Hey, I'm starting on the logo for your other brand, comma. Hey, I'm starting the logo for your other company. This is just a concept. I know you were looking for a great revamp, but before I did anything further, is this on the right track, question mark? All right, quit. We're making pancakes, Phoenix. You gotta go over there. I always make some pancakes. These things are pretty simple. Oh yeah. I was like, where the fuck is my plate? All right, let's put this in there. Let's put that in there. Let the air out. You can make one big ass can pancake. Well, that was a little lumpy right there. Let's do that. There we go. Get this out of here. Powder was, there you go. Needed it all powdered up, powder. All right, let's uh, turn this bitch on six. Super rainy today. Uh, I was gonna go to a massage therapist, but they canceled. Probably due to the rain or something. I don't know. They probably got something going on. Well, uh, oh well. Opens up some uh, stuff for us to uh, do, which is uh, not a lot. We're getting uh, a lot of stuff done. I gotta do just so much stuff on the computer that uh, it's not a lot of like moving or whatever. It's just just me on the computer. I gotta make a couple flyers and stuff for some stuff local, and then uh, just gotta keep updated with the logos. Everybody, everybody's good now, but I'm about to onboard a couple more people and then uh, should be pretty good. You know what we forgot to do? We forgot to put fucking olive oil on this son of a bitch, so I got distracted. This is gonna be a hard bitch to fucking definitely stick it on this son of a bitch. Some bitch. Well, I had to throw that one away because I forgot to put olive oil on there. <laughs> so uh, I threw the son of a bitch away and now we're gonna restart and put some olive oil on there so don't forget to put fucking olive oil on your pan when you're creating some pancakes all right we're good look at these pancakes looking good let's do a little flippy flip let's see if we can do this with our pan oh look at that perfect flip third time's a charm looks fucking delicious you guys want to know what i like to put on my pancakes you can put the old butter on there but what tastes better is some peanut butter peanut butter on some pancakes with some syrup and look we'll dip that one off there's one pancake make sure to put a little bit more olive oil on there so I don't I uh, maybe a little bit too much so now I got a drainer all right let's soak up the rest that we don't need right there further and let's uh dump dump some more pancake mix up in this look oh yeah this one's gonna be a big one all right let's do this all right, while this one's cooking, I'm gonna eat me this one. So let's put some uh, peanut butter down on the pancake. And then what, what else you can do, just kind of mix it on there. That's what I like to do. Mix it on there a little bit, right? And then uh, put your syrup on. But to melt the butter, peanut butter, you can uh, just put it in the microwave for a little bit and melt it down. Tastes pretty good. All right. So now we're gonna take a little little example bite. Look, delicious. Look at that. Looks so good. All right, we all done eating some pancakes. We're good to go. I think a lot of people are enjoying this type of content for YouTube, and I am as well. Since I got two phones, I think what I was gonna do is get some type of a side mount to where I can have this phone on it as well. <laughs> So that way I can create uh, shorts and uh, TikToks and shit. Because what's happening is I can use this footage, which makes sense. But even though I crop it to 9 by 16 it's like I'm this fucking close to the goddamn camera. But the other thing is it doesn't feel as authentic. I've noticed there's something different when recording on a phone that makes it feel like it's a phone. So the only way to replicate that is to have a motherfucking phone recording at the same time. So this horizontal is gonna go straight up into the screen to YouTube, but I'm gonna find something that I can do to where I can mount it on the side as well. 
because I think that would be sick. Just have a massive a camera just recording. I think it'd be pretty cool. Guys, we're about to go into town. Well, we got to get a little bit of things at the store, restaurant, whatever. Get some food. And then, uh, what else? That's about it. So, also got some diesel additive from a diesel heater. So that's good news. Oh yeah, definitely need to get need to get some of that a uh, propane because it's a uh, fucking sleet right now, guys. What the fuck? When I go outside, I'll show you guys what's going on. But it's going to be pretty slick. So uh, actually, I want to go around real quick and see what I need. I think I just need to need a grocery run to be honest i need to get some cat food we got everything we need right there we got a fucking whole entire freezer ready just need a need a little bit of things at the store not too much to be honest with you uh, i need to get some new cat food look at phoenix oh little bobby so i'm just warming up the jeep as it is sleeting like a son of a bitch outside but uh now we need to start that diesel heater check this shit out guys this shit is slicker and fuck. Holy fuck. You know what I mean? Listen to the, you hear the fucking sirens? It's because people are probably sliding and fucking slipping, getting fucked up. Come on, Betsy. Oh, I already tried it, so. God damn, it is fucked up right now. Slick as fuck out. Look at this. Wow. All right, let's uh, wait until the generator. Maybe we can, uh, I don't know, it just depends on how many how much percentage we have on one. So we got 45 on one, 11 on the other. So what we'll do is we'll actually shut this down and switch the plugs, then go in town. Then when we go back home, we can uh, start the generator. Be just a little bit more safer, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want anything to happen while I'm gone. I'm only gonna be gone for just a little bit, so. That's why I shut off everything for the most part. Cause I got a little baby in here. Little baby thing. It'll stay warm. Yo, holy shit. It is so fucking nasty out right now. Oh my God. You guys are, I'm about to put this son of a bitch in four. No. I'm just fucking with you. Four part time, bitch. Four low. Oh my God, it is slick. You can just tell that the road is black ice. Black light, black ice, it's everywhere. It's fucking everywhere in between. I'll tell you right now, it is fucked up. Holy shit. And a car, of course, a car, a vehicle's coming my way. We're sharing this skinny ass road. Why can't you just go around, motherfucker? Come on, torpedo man. Slow down, dipshit. That dude's gonna get ran the fuck off the road. Driving like a fucking maniac. Slick as fucking dick out right now. And another fucking vehicle's coming at me. Dumbass. I feel sometimes like I'm in a motherfucking simulation. Oh, Jack's out right now, so let's just cross his path. And man, it is sleeting like a bitch. Slushy. I could probably put a cup outside right now and collect all this and make a slushy. Put some bubbly in it, and there's your slushy. But hey, we're getting some rainwater. This shit will bounce off into the, the fucking roof go right down into my uh, gutters melt a little bit and we got man i bet our fucking tanks are full as food because during the summer i'm using a lot of water and we don't get a lot of water but during now until we use it and uh, this summer we're not going to use a lot of water at all because we're switching our garden now we're not becoming a big garden this year we're going to do just a little tiny greenhouse for jack we're going to do something super small easy to take care of and we're barely even going to water it they don't need to we got a uh, special little things that you can water ancient technology it's beautiful we're gonna be able to only have to water every five days could serve a lot of water we'll have a ton of water left over for the rainwater system oh my god is it fucked up right now all right we need to get some food or painting and then we need to uh, get some propane. So let's do that now. All right, we got some Phoenix foods, also some uh, propane. So now we're back home. We're gonna be back home here soon. We gotta put the fucking windows on uh, cross because they keep fogging up on us. Here in a couple more days, 
We're gonna pick up a new firearm. I got it coming in, so that'll be exciting. If you guys didn't know, I'm into firearms and shit, so. Have been for years, and I wanna buy a new one, so I'll show you guys when I get it. I thought I grabbed my phone, and I guess I didn't. <laughs> I'd never leave without my phone, so now I'm fucked. But I'm going home now, so it don't matter. But uh, I guess I grabbed this camera thinking it was something that I only grab usually one thing. So I guess my mind was just cluttered or something. Oh well, we're going back home now. We're back home, it's an absolute shithole out. Bad news is, where the fuck is my phone? So now we're on the hunt. That's the fucking title of this goddamn shit. Where I'm on the hunt to find my phone. I just had it in my fucking pocket. Here's one phone. So maybe I can call. Where the fuck is my phone? I just had it and I swore I had it in the vehicle. Maybe I uh, accidentally left it outside. Or not outside, maybe I left it in the car. I just couldn't see it, I don't know. Kinda fucking weird. Mommy. Yeah, let's go back outside real quick and see if we actually left my cell phone outside. God damn, always something, right? I bet it's in the crevice of my fucking shit. That didn't sound right. <laughs> but it's in the crevice of my crack. <laughs> Dick, bet it is too, you motherfucker. All right, let's go out there in this shit ass weather. Look how fucking, fucking nasty that is. You slip and fucking get fucking annihilated. All right, so, not in there. I didn't even have it when I walked into the store, so I know. Where the fuck is it, actually? It's gonna be in the most weirdest spot, I know. Where it's like outside and shit, all fucked up. Wow. Oh, there it is, in the back. Fucking 1,700 missed calls and texts. Where the fuck are you? You motherfucker, you're not paying attention to me. As I'm trying to navigate every fucking thing else. Shit up. I'm out here grinding. You're texting me worrying. Where are you? Why aren't you answering me? I'm fucking working. Leave me be. Right? Like Eminem said, I can't take a shit without somebody standing over me. I think that's what he said in one of his rhymes or something. I can't take a shit in the bathroom without somebody standing by me. Let's wipe you guys off real quick. You guys are a little fucked. Oh, fuck you. You're fucked up now. Yep. You're good. All right, guys. All right, y'all. <clears throat> Pretty much uh, all I'm doing is uh, editing a poster and doing some logo design. This is pretty shitty. I'm glad I got all those uh, pieces of wood cut up so I didn't have to bring in some wet wood. So good on my part right there. We got the diesel heater running and uh, I'm just over here editing a few um, posters and logos. And uh, just answer, you gotta answer some emails now. But uh, we're gonna not do much today, man. We ain't got shit to do. Uh, let's see if we got some, I got shit to do, but there ain't a lot to film is what I'm trying to say. Let's see uh, if we got some, let's see some questions here. Jack, did you ever get have anxious moments while taking big decisions in life, like moving out, generic apartment life? Totally. Everything is all new, so I just try to stay, remain calm as possible. Uh, I think that's best for if you are doing anything in life to the point where you are born something new. Just remain calm, go in there with uh, confidence, and um, do as best you can. That's all that you can do, really. I'm sure there's been moments where I'm like, yep, I don't know what I'm doing, but I figure it out at the end. You ain't ever going to learn anything unless you do it yourself. You can be told what to do all the fucking time, but until you experience it yourself, I think that's the best best way to do it so for sure i just uh mind over matter you know got to get through it and um you got to be able to just got to be able to uh, see the future in a way what's that called uh, manifesting so even though i'm not at a point where i'm at want to be in life uh i see it before it happens when i had the tesla i was seeing myself drive the tesla before i had the tesla and then i got the tesla so it wasn't new to me that's pretty cool. So yeah, good question.
And then uh, Gray Jetty said, hey Jack, I have two questions. Is it possible to use a reverse triple osmosis system with the tankless water heater? Uh, I got a uh, reverse, reverse osmosis system underneath my sink right now with the hot water heater. Totally. Obviously you're not going to be running hot water through the damn thing. Uh, it's just going to be purified water. You can rig it up to where it goes through your whole house, but mine's a separate faucet. So you, totally you could do that. Uh, let's see. That's it for today. So thank you guys so much for asking some questions. Like I said, I'm going to be answering questions as long as you ask them on my YouTube only. If you ask me some questions, I'm going to answer them at the end of these videos. But, and I'm just going to answer these emails. I got about 30 emails to answer right now. <laughs> I just finished up a uh, poster, answer up these emails, and then probably do some... Uh, oh, I got to do these, these edits, but hopefully I have some time to focus and put aside to learn some more radio so all right y'all hopefully you guys are having a good day like always and uh thanks for watching another day in the life of tiny house jack off grid in a tiny home phoenix is taking a nap and uh i i'm gonna finish up emailing everybody getting everything nice and neat and organized in this crappy weather of ours so and I definitely need to, I'm going to find a mount for this so that way I can set up my cell phone for us to record. And uh, like I said before, the way to have authentic phone videos is just to record on a phone. You can't replicate that on this. So we're going to try to find that as well. All right, y'all. I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Have a good day.